new production of the play Palak is touring Europe and India. It looks at the history of repression and Tibetans' fight for freedom under Chinese rule. I have co-director and actor Lakpa Tsering here in our Berlin studios. Welcome to DW yeah. News Thank Asia. Thank you very much, Ben. Tell me what's at the heart of your production. My production is all about... Uh, this play is about the sufferings inside Tibetans, inside Tibet and under the Chinese rule. Uh, Brut uh, regime of communism regime, and this play is represent the non-violence example of non-violence which is remained in this world so far. So we are uh, uh, seeking support from the entire world for this non-violent action. If these also not remain in the future, then there will be no example of non-violent in this world. So. For that reason, we are touring this play in the Western countries to get support from the other countries. And the importance of performing in Tibetan, I believe it was originally an Indian production. Yeah, actually, our purpose to perform in Tibetan is that uh, actually that written, uh, English written play by the Abhishek Majumdar, writer, but uh, we translate it into uh, Tibetan by myself because telling the story by a Tibetan is more influential and also the identity of the Tibetan is extinct inside Tibet because of the Chinese uh, pressure. So that's why like, we want to represent our identity to the international uh, world that we also have a language and culture and cult uh, tradition and custom. How, how is... much of that culture and uh, tradition is left though? What is the situation like in Tibet right now? Right now, inside Tibet, since 1959, Chinese occupation inside Tibet, uh, our uh, Chinese tortured a lot, killed a lot, destroyed a lot to extinct our culture. But still, they couldn't change the mind of the Tibetan people. So now, they are trying their best to extinct the Tibetan culture custom treated by the... Uh, building a boarding school inside Tibet. Now they want to change the generation into Chinese. They like they are taking from the child of age of five. They are taking all the children to a boarding school with uh, without any like uh, permission from the parents. They are taking them all in there to like their aim is like child whatever they are getting uh, education from the, their parents uh, learning culture and custom they want to extinct that all send they all boarding in the school and they are teaching chinese culture traditions language and that is the worst situation inside happening inside tibet that after 20 15 20 years then there will be no more tibetan uh, speaking tibetans inside tibet so this is the worst situation inside tibet and is happening right now Lakpa, I believe it was a difficult situation for you as well, coming to terms with your cultural identity because you left the country at mm -hmm. such an early age. Yes. How old were you? Uh, when I was uh, crossing the border, I was just 11 years old. But uh, when I came from Tibet, I, I really don't know about what really Tibet is because of the Chinese brainwashed us uh, youngsters when as age like me. I came about. I came to know about Tibetan history, Tibetan struggle, everything. Once I reached to India, then I really realized it, and I really felt that I am real. Now I become a real Tibetan. So because of that much like uh, feeling and uh, desperate, I really felt like I also tried my. Uh, myself to be self self emulate in 2016, which means like I have changed that much. So inside Tibet, same like me, children doesn't know much about Tibetan because Chinese are hiding everything. So how critical do you get in this play about what's going on in Tibet? This play, we represent that uh, Tibetans are self-emulating inside Tibet to preserve our culture, language and religions. This play is all about... Uh, destroying of monastery by the Chinese government. And then the uh, main role, Deshar uh, uh, Nun, was first she is totally like a little bit violent kind of girl. But once she knew the real situation and the non-violence, then Chinese even couldn't do anything about her self-immolation. She becomes so peaceful in the end. Are you worried about the, the Chinese reaction to this play? Yeah, Chinese always react whatever we do. But in this play, 
our play is not kind of Chinese made. Chinese always made propaganda kind of play. But inside this, we our play has a black and white. We always consider that we never consider China as enemy and revenge. We are always trying our best to make them understand the uh, mistakes. So we never think of revenge. So inside this play also, there is a black and white uh, culture. We also believe in this play, we represent that Chinese also are human beings and they also have a love and kindness feeling in within. So we are always trying our best to understand their mistakes, not revenge. Akbar Tseding, thank you very much for coming in today to tell us about the Tibetan freedom fighting play Palak. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.